So I heard a nice quote this week. A dull pencil is better than a sharp memory. Document your code, people. In this video, we're going to take a look at four functions available to us on Promise. They're called all, all settled, any, and race. And we can separate these four into two groups. The first group will contain all and all settled, and they care about all the promises. So all will require all promises to fulfill, and all settled will care that all promises have a result, and that could be fulfilled or rejected. In the second group we have any and race, and they care about just one of the promises. Race will just take the first promise that has a result even if it's a rejected result and any will care about the first promise that fulfills so i have created a little hello world application for these four functions so we can explore them let's move over to the computer so i have created a little node server using express and for the base route it's just returning an index.html and that's where we're going to spend most of our time here on that's the client code so i have declared a few other routes here it's h e l l and o and they're very similar they all have a timeout of two seconds and return a, an object here with a payload that is a letter so this will spell out hello if you combine these routes so that's it for the server side and then the app starts and listens on ADA. So over to the client code. This is just your standard document and some styling. And the markup, I have one container for each type of promise function that we're going to try out. And we also have a little loader markup that we can inject uh, when we fire off the promises to see that things are loading things the requests are on their way and I should mention that promise.any is uh, does is not so supported in browsers and what you usually do then is that you create a polyfill so you create your own version uh, that implements the same functionality and that's what I have done here for promise.any Further on, we just grab our uh, DOM elements that we want and we're going to start to look at promise.all. So we're just going to use this container for now. So here we have our actual promises. So we're calling axios.get and then the route, and this will return a promise. So this list will become a list of promises and to start off with we're just going to use our five routes for H E L L O and not use this route because this route does not exist so if we try to call this route we will get back a 404 and that will cause a promise to be rejected but for our first test we should expect all these five promises to be fulfilled so the first thing that we do is that we inject the a loader a little spinner for each of our promises and then we use the promise.all function we pass in our promises and then let's remind ourselves how promise.all works it waits for all promises to be fulfilled and if any get rejected then we end up in this catch block here and it will say what promise got rejected and display was rejected and an X but if they all were fulfilled we will loop the result with map and transform them into a div that specifies what uh, what the payload was that got returned 
add a checkbox and add that to the DOM. So I think we are ready to try it out. So I will refresh the browser here. I also have to start my server by running node server.js. And now we are actually running. So after two seconds, we should expect the result. And there it is all of the five promises was fulfilled. So now what we should do is that we should try to add our missing route because that one should fail and then the whole promise.all should fail and end up in this catch block. So let's verify that. Yeah, immediately, we didn't even have to wait two seconds because this 404 arrived immediately from the server. And it says slash missing route was rejected. So that is how promise.all works. So now let's move on to promise.all settled instead. So we will use our five existing routes and we will use this code block here. Let's remind ourselves how all the settled works. We wait until all promises have a result, meaning they have a result and it can be fulfilled or rejected. When we have a result for each of our promises, then when we transform them into DOM elements, we check the status. If they were fulfilled, in fact, then we return this div with a payload and a green check mark. But if they were rejected, we return a div with what the route was and an X. So our first test will be with um, the existing routes. So hopefully they will all seller settle to be fulfilled. Yeah, they are, that's good. And now we will add the missing route and all settled should, should be okay with that but we will have to wait two seconds for the rest of them to also settle on something. So now we have all six of them settled and the five of them that exist was fulfilled and the sixth one was rejected. So now let's move on to any. And this one will look for the first promise to fulfill and then it will go down here. Our only chance to end up in the catch block is if all promises get rejected. So for our first test we'll just use the five existing routes. Should also change here. Let's run it. So we'll have to wait for two seconds and then the first one that finished or the first one that was fulfilled was the age route. So now let's introduce a failed route and this should be fine. It sh we should expect the same thing to happen. One of the fulfilled promises should show up because it will not care about the rejected one. We just are looking for one to fulfill. So now let's move on to a similar one, but a little bit different, which is the promise.base. So let's remind ourselves how this one works. We wait until any of the promises get fulfilled or rejected. And for our first test, let's use the existing routes and let's run them. Okay, so the first one was H again and that one was fulfilled. Now let's introduce a failing route to Linux. And that one, as you can see, that one came immediately because that 
404 that we got through the server does not have a two second timeout. So the first promise of the six promises to have a result was this missing route and it was a reject. So that's how promise.raise works. So I hope that you learned a little something about promises and dealing with multiple ones at the same time from this video. And maybe you had some ideas on when to use the different promise functions that we looked at today. If you have any questions about the code, feel free to reach out, make a comment. And if you like the content, you, I'm very happy to have you as a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.